I don't even know what to start with. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. What do I, I like straight to be like, hey everybody, hi, hi, <laughs> hi, hey, hey. hey everybody, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. You need like a set intro. I don't have one. You need to come up with one. Hey everybody. <laughs> That's it. Hey, hey. <laughs> we haven't even started cooking. There's gonna be four people watching this. I'm like, hey, all of you people. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am joined by my um, special guest. <laughs> Today, I am joined by my special guest, Lauren. <laughs> As you can see me with a video crawling behind me. So this is my friend Lauren, and today we thought we would do a video where we taste test vegan mac and cheese. Obviously, I'm vegan, but Lauren is not vegan, um, and she loves herself some craft. So we didn't just get a bunch of box mac and cheeses. We got two box mac and cheeses, two frozen mac and cheese, and then we're going to home make two based on recipes that I found on Pinterest. Most homemade vegan mac and cheese recipes on Pinterest or that I've seen on YouTube are typically like uh, cashews or potatoes and carrots, but Delicious. I don't have a Vitamix, so I couldn't make a cashew one. And then I couldn't find a good recipe for potato and carrots. So we're changing it up and doing two that I've actually never seen before or heard of before. So hopefully they're delicious. Disgusting. Right. Oh yeah, we didn't even make it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start with the frozen mac and cheese because it's obviously the quickest to prepare. So for frozen, I got this uh, chow mac and... <laughs> it's called mac and chow. So for frozen, we got the chow vegan mac and cheese, which I've had the chow slices and I wasn't the biggest fan, so hopefully this Favorite is good. Favorite called mac and chow. <laughs> the chow, <laughs> the chow mac, mac and chow. And the second frozen mac and cheese we got is the Amy's vegan mac and cheese. They do have another frozen mac and cheese that isn't vegan though, so make sure you get the right one, but. I never watched it before. Oh my God, seriously? I'm, that's I don't even have the ass. I don't have room. to try the frozen ones but I did just want to say that we started the boxed ones so for the boxed mac and cheese we got the Daya I think that's how you pronounce it some people say Daya but then they said that's like wrong Daya I feel like the I would be before the A okay Daya so Daya we got some Daya just the cheddar um one I think it's that's just the normal one and then we got the Annie's organic vegan mac the cheddar one as well now we are going to try the frozen ones i kind of want to try yeah the chow one first because it's gonna be a it smells a little strange cover your face it needs the focus <laughs> i told you i am like really nervous it does not smell promising to me i like don't like want to try it <laughs> just take a small bite good I don't want to do it. I don't mind it that much. But I feel like I'm I feel like I've started to get used to the taste of like um fake cheese that like it doesn't really bother me as much. Once you start chewing, it's not bad. But once you can only taste the noodles, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> so uh one through ten, what would you say on that one? Considering it's the first one, we have nothing <laughs> to compare it to. So four. Yeah, I would say like a five. I, I It wasn't that bad. Okay, so the second one we have is the Amy's rice mac and cheese. All right, so this one smells a lot better than the chow one, just right off the bat. So I feel like this is, might taste better, but it also is a little like chunky-ish. Like it doesn't look like the one on the picture. Yeah, it looks nothing like the picture. It looks kind of like KFC mac and cheese, is what I, like the consistency. This tastes like something I've had before. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. It tastes like the flavor of like a cheese puff that I've had, like a cheese puff. Well, what would you give this one? 
You liked it less than that one? I don't know. This one had like a sour taste and this one has like a sweet taste. And I, that's why I think I don't like it. I think I'll give it a four too. I think I'll give the Amy's like a five and a half. I think I like it a little more than that one. So now we have our box mac and cheese. So I think we're gonna start with the Daya. Like I said, this is just the like regular mm -hmm. cheddar style. So the Daya one is just the noodles and then a cheese sauce, whereas the Annie's comes with like cheese powder and then you have to add like milk and butter like normal mac and cheese. I've never had Daya cheese ever. Um, you have. Disgusting. <laughs> but I've heard that day is pretty gross in comparison to a lot of vegan cheeses like nowadays. So um, I'm concerned. I don't still want to eat it. Okay. You can spit it out back into the bowl if you don't like it. Okay. I'm here for it. It tastes way milder than it smells. Like it smells like the taste is going to be like overwhelmingly bad. <laughs> That's delicious. I mean, it's not the best. I want Kraft mac and cheese. But in terms of like vegan mac and cheese, like if you knew this was vegan, <clears throat> it's like... It's not bad. It's not bad, actually, at all. All right, what would you rate this one? 7.5. Wow. Yeah, this was really good. I would probably say the same. 7.5. Pretty good. So mm -hmm. now we have the Annie's. I feel like I've had this before. I haven't. So I don't know. I feel like I had it and it was really gross. <laughs> okay, what is that? What is that? <laughs> It smells like frosting. Yeah, it smells really sweet. It's sweet. Like, it's super sweet. I don't like this one. What is in this? Oh. It tastes like frosting. Yeah, like if you're like, I want mac and cheese and also cake, I'm sure this That's is good. good. <laughs> Honestly, this might be a little bit sweet because of the soy milk. Oh, yeah. So I would say if I was going to try this again, I would try it with like different milks. What would you get? What would you give that one? 6.5. I would say like a f 4. I feel like out of all the ones we've had so far, this is the only one I wouldn't eat again. Honestly, oh. I retract my vote and I like this more than the day of. Oh my god. So what would you rate this one? Or would you just switch the ratings? or Switch the ratings. Wait, what? Does this one taste like again? No. No, you don't know. You can tie them. They're both 8s. Oh. <laughs> you didn't give either of them that the first time. Alright, but the last two... We have to cook. Oh, sounds awful. <laughs> so like I said, most of the uh, vegan cheese recipes I've seen are like made with cashews or like potatoes and carrots. And um, these are both made with like random things. So this one's made with white beans. So you're gonna put one cup of white beans into the blender. Already has. Um, and then you're going to put half a cup of milk of choice. I'm using almond milk because we discovered that the reason the Annie's mac and cheese was so sweet is because the soy milk was very sweet. So we're changing our milk to not make it sweet. We're going to add that. Then we're going to add an eighth teaspoon of garlic powder. Measure it. Two teaspoons of butter or oil, which is optional. You don't have to add this in, but half a teaspoon of salt. There's a hair on this. No, no. What? I was trying to flip the teaspoon. No, you already done this in All way. right, half a teaspoon. <laughs> this is not gonna be nearly salty enough. We're gonna blend this up. Hopefully it's blended. There's chunks of beans in here. It smells like farts, but you know. <laughs> All right, so before we finish cooking up that one, we're gonna start the next recipe because our noodles are still cooking and I don't want the sauce to be done before the noodles are done. Okay, the next one has slightly more ingredients <laughs> and also it's a little more work than just throwing beans in a blender. So I guess we need to move to the stove because I don't think anything can be done over here. We're gonna start the second mac and cheese recipe on the stove because the noodles are still cooking and the first mac and cheese mm -hmm. recipe, all we really have to do is heat it up at this point. One tablespoon of olive oil, which you don't need to measure olive oil, it's just olive oil. Three cloves of garlic. Okay. <laughs> I'm putting in a quarter cup of flour after nearly burning the garlic, or actually burning the garlic. Oh, what, hello? Is there a ghost in here? It completely unfocused on both of us. Okay, I'm putting in a quarter cup of flour, um, which you're just gonna whisk. Wow. This doesn't seem like this is doing anything. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to add in half a cup. Half a cup, holy moly. 
half a cup of nutritional yeast. That's a lot of nutritional yeast, y'all. And you're just gonna keep whisking it. Okay, now that I'm whisked this, it says you have to whisk rapidly while slowly pouring in the coconut milk. I can pour the milk in while you whisk rapidly. Sure. Oh God, don't make a mess. Okay. Ooh, deglazing. That's what this is called, right? <laughs> All right, two tablespoons of lemon juice. All right, so I need one and a half teaspoons of mustard powder, and then I need half a teaspoon of salt. So now I turn that up to bring to a boil, so I'm going to finish up our other sauce. All right, so while we're letting that one cook, we're gonna cook the second one. We already made the sauce in the blender over there. So now all we have to do is heat it up and add some vegan cheese shreds to it. Um, some Via Life, just like cheddar shreds. Via Life is my favorite vegan cheese brand. Focus. It's very delicious. There we go. <laughs> That's just <physical. laughs> Looks like oatmeal. All right, so it says to throw a third of a cup of vegan cheese in, so we're just gonna put some in. I. <laughs> I have no hope for this one at all. That one's like maybe. Okay, so we just finished the homemade ones. So this one I'm referring to the bean and cheese one because this is the one that has the white beans and then just vegan cheese in it. That's pretty much the only ingredients besides like salt. And then this one was a lot more work. We had to make like a roux with flour and then add coconut milk and nutritional yeast and lemon juice and stuff. So if either of these turn out good, I will link them in the description bar below. If they're both disgusting, I'm probably not going to because I don't know why you'd want to make it. I guess we'll start with the bean and cheese one because I have a lot less hope for that one than I did for the other one. This was labeled as the best vegan cheese sauce. Imagine this. Imagine you made bean and cheese, like beans and cheese, like you put refried beans and cheese and you melted them in a pot and then you threw noodles into it. I think the reason I spit it out was it's the texture. texture really threw me off. I was not expecting it. It literally just tastes like if you have like bean, like bean dip. It's actually not bad. It's literally bean dip. It's not mac and cheese, I will tell you that right now. I could, I, if I ate this on a tortilla chip, I'd probably enjoy it more. I don't know what I was expecting, it's literally beans. I would give it a six for flavor, but mac and cheese, it's a zero because it doesn't even taste like it's trying to be mac and cheese. Yeah, it just tastes like beans. Um, I would give it like a, again, like a zero for it being mac and cheese, but in terms of flavor, yeah, I'd probably like say like, like a six or seven. I, but I mean, if you like bean dip, you'll probably like it because that's what it tastes like. So the second one we have is the one that was a lot more complicated. This one doesn't have vegan cheese. So like the cheese flavor is uh, nutritional yeast. Oh. I just touched it to my tongue and I do not like it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It's a no from me, dog. That is by far <laughs> the worst one we've had today. Nutritional yeast is very hit or miss for me. Like sometimes I enjoy it, sometimes I'm like, ew, nutritional yeast, get out of here. <laughs> what would you rate that one? Zero. Absolutely. Oh yeah, no. It's, it's the only one I literally could not get it down. That was so nasty. Um, I guess the final thought of this video is if you're gonna make vegan mac and cheese, just buy it. I would say overall the box ones, both of them were really good. So. Those were the only ones. That were and coming from a not vegan. Um, I guess that's the end of this video. So, um, comment about down below if you want to see Lauren in more videos, <laughs> even though Lauren's probably the only one that's going to comment on the Ooh. video. She's going to be like, yeah, put Lauren in more videos. <laughs> oh, I didn't even mention my super, oh, you know, you, you don't get the references because you never, you don't watch them. That's why I did, why I did my, my, you know how to do it too. <laughs> I just wearing my super cool merch, my uh, Jenna Julian merch that came out with Neat Dude, and it just says "Who You Fight In Worldwide Fight Club," and it's really cool. They're all dirty. <laughs> so, if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs>